Low poly, it may not be as popular as it has been, but it's still a great option for solo developers or small teams. You can make good looking art faster and more efficiently than trying to strive for realism. Not to mention that decent low poly art is nowhere near the uncanny valley, and we've all seen projects that are deep into that trap. There are many ways to do the coloring of low poly models. The easiest, and I suspect the worst performant option, is to have a different material for each color. This is how many assets on the Unity store are done. No surprise, it's easy. Extra materials are easy to work with, but can drag down the performance of your project. A second option is to bake the textures to a PNG using a tool like Blender. This is my preferred option, at least when it comes to the appearance of the models. But if you want to iterate your colors more quickly, or you're working on mobile so that memory and project size are more crucial, there is a third way that might be even better for you. And that way is color palettes. A color palette is a grid of colors that can be used by many or even all assets in your project. The palette can be very small, with each color being as small as a single pixel. This can help keep the build size of your project small. It also means that all the colors for your project are stored in one image, which helps to keep a consistent theme. Plus, those colors are easily edited or adjusted in a program like GIMP. This approach can also be used with third-party assets as well. If you missed the video on importing from Unity to Blender and back, check the link over there. For the example of this video, I have a prop from a free asset that I've loaded into Blender. Now this asset was already unwrapped and was using a color palette but I'm going to unwrap it again and use my own color palette to show you how easy this process can be. I'm going to use my preferred method of unwrapping, which is the light map pack. In this case, the default settings are all I need as the size and spacing of the faces in UV coordinates is irrelevant. I'll split the window and add a UV image editor window. With this open, you can see all the unwrapped faces of the mesh. Before I go further, I need to create my color palette and I'll be doing that in GIMP. It works best for Unity if your image dimensions are powers of 2. In my case, I'll use an image size of 256 by 256, but in the end, it doesn't matter too much as long as you have more pixels than colors. So go into the Filter menu, then Render, Pattern, and finally Grid, I can create a grid on my image. Create as big or small of a grid as you need for your project. In my case, I'm going to keep it simple and go with a 2x2 two two grid with a line width of 1 pixel. With that done, the grid can be painted with the colors from your theme. The final step in GIMP is then to export the image as a PNG. I find it eases my workflow if I save it into my Unity project, since I need to use it in my materials and having one copy makes things simpler. It's also probably a good idea to save the GIMP file somewhere else, just in case. Now back in Blender, I'll then open the newly created color palette in the UV image editor window. Now all I have to do is move the faces in the UV coordinates to the correct color. To keep the faces inside a given color, I'll also be scaling them down. An easy way to select the faces is to select them in the 3D view. I like to select all the faces of a given color at one time, but you can do it one by one or however works best for you. Once the UV coordinates have been adjusted, you can now export the model to Unity. Now back in Unity, I can then drag the new model into my scene but no color or texture shows up. I need to create a new material, and then I'll drag in the color palette created in GIMP into the Albedo channel. With that done, I'll drag the material onto the model, and voila, our colors appear. With this setup, I can easily go back to GIMP to adjust the colors in the grid. After I'm done in GIMP, all I need to do to update my Unity project is re-export the texture to the same location, like so. So there you go, I've shown you how to set up color palettes for a low poly model. If that was useful or interesting, think about hitting that like or subscribe button. If you want to go further in supporting the channel, check out the links to my Patreon and Discord server in the video description below. So until next time, happy game designing.